I think we'll start this out with an example. You know, the Hilbert chain is you're going to have a path. Oh, oh, you oh, grab by the function. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny. Sorry, folks. Um, <clears throat> I'll put those away for now. <clears throat> you might have figured out just that I'm not that actually embarrassed. You know, screw it. I love these things. They're great. Um, so the point here, folks, I don't know why I like the pink one, but I do. Um, so the point here, folks, is this is the highly reinforcing stimulus. Um, but the cool thing is, is no one has to mediate it for me. The stimulus itself produces the reinforcer, right? So the behavior of playing with a fidget spinner, this is actually really fun. To be 100% honest with you, this is the first time I've ever played with one of these things, and I'll be damned if they aren't automatically reinforcing. Um, so the fun thing being that they are automatically reinforcing. That's what this video is about, right? So an automatic reinforcer, the reinforcer, whatever that is, an automatic reinforcer is a reinforcer that um, that the behavior that you're engaging in produces stimuli in the environment that automatically reduce the or reduce that automatically reinforce the behavior right mm -hmm. so it seems as though fidget spinners might actually be automatically reinforcing for a lot of people and i can tell you just after the brief moment of interacting with these things these are literally the first two fidget spinners i've ever owned and ever played with the, um, and they seem to be quite reinforcing. Um, I don't know what you can do with them other than drop them on the ground um, and spin them. I suppose there's tricks you can do because I keep hearing about all the kids these days doing tricks with them. But no one needs to deliver a reinforcer for that to be reinforcing for me. That's what makes it automatic, right? So that, that, that nature of that, that automatic nature of things is what we're always shooting for when we're working with kiddos or adults for that matter in the real world, in the applied world, in the applied settings, is that we want the behavior to be functionally trapped, if you will, by natural contingencies, by contingencies that make whatever behavior that people are engaging in reinforcing automatically without somebody having to arbitrarily add a reinforcer to that environment for that particular behavior. So automaticity of re or automatic reinforcement is just that, behavior that produces its own reinforcers. Uh, there's a ton of them. Uh, fidget spinners were just fun because they're really popular nowadays. Um, there's all sorts of things that do. Uh, one that I always, used to always talk about was masturbation. That is <laughs> immediately reinforcing. Yeah. Should we try? <laughs> No, sorry, I just couldn't resist uh, because it's I bought you a fidget spinner for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of Psychor's most recent purchases. <laughs> it's a DRA, uh, yo. <laughs> DRI. It's DRI. A, yeah, yeah, DRI. <laughs> <laughs> Automatically reinforcing me from in the, incompatible with masturbation, which reminds me of it. when masturbation lost its fun. Um, <laughs> You never know what you're going to get here at Psychor, folks. We just started singing Green Day. Uh, but uh, um, so, no, anyway, back to the automatic reinforcement. It's kind of a goal, right? It doesn't always happen to be able to get to a behavior to be automatically reinforced. And not all behaviors should be automatically reinforced. But if you can make it happen, that sounds like a great thing to me. Put people in touch with those natural contingencies out there and um, let them fidget spin their life away. No, don't do that. But just, I don't know. It's kind of an awkward topic to talk about. But the idea is just try to make things automatic as much as possible. Identify what reinforcers are available in the environment for that particular behavior. And hopefully you can put the person or whatever in touch with those contingencies, those reinforcers that are automatically produced by that behavior. Sometimes that needs to be a little bit arbitrary initially to help jumpstart the process. Um, but you never know um, when it, or, <laughs> you never know exactly when it's gonna happen, uh, but hopefully it does because it sure is cool when it does and it becomes wildly popular. So anyway, I'm gonna go spin my fidgets. I mean, spinners, whatever they are. <laughs> 